Uh, Mr. Chairman, committee members, thank you very much for allowing me to speak. Uh, man, I'm listening to an awful lot of stuff here, and I'm wondering, where the hell am I? Uh, you know, I hear an awful lot of legal terms being tossed around. I think they're legal terms. I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain it to me. Law-abiding illegal immigrant. What is that? That sounds like an oxymoron to me, okay? I, I don't get that. Uh, what, uh, Mike just talked about Roger Williams coming to Rhode Island. Roger Williams didn't come here undocumented. He came here with all the documents he needed at that time. Uh, in fact, when he came to Rhode Island, he didn't need any documents whatsoever because Rhode Island, Providence wasn't even here. Rhode Island wasn't there. He founded it. Okay? Uh, the history of this country. He also mentioned the great history of this country. Well, the history of this country is that we are a country ruled by the law, not by men, all right? How can we just disregard laws? How do you tell me that you're going to make our roads and our states safer by passing another law for people that are breaking the law? You know, it's just mind-boggling to me, these things. Uh, the mayor of Providence, uh, Mary Lawza, said that illegal aliens don't migrate to sanctuary cities because they're sanctuaries. Uh, meanwhile, the man that was responsible for killing Kate Steinle in San Francisco said that was exactly the reason he was in San Francisco, was because it was a sanctuary city. Uh, identification, different forms of identification. When we allow people into this country from wherever, whether they're on a visa, whether they're here as immigrants or whatever, they all carry identification that they're supposed to be able to present at any given point in time, okay? There's lots of reasons for that, all right? And you're telling me we just dispose of that offhandedly. Really? I don't, I don't understand that. Um, people that come into this country, it's illegal. We have a lawyer over here who definitely might be able to answer this question. Um, is breaking and entering into my house equally as disposable as breaking and entering into my country? Uh, do I just disregard that? Do I tell these people, sit down, have a cup of coffee, relax, I know you're nervous because I caught you? You know, what would you like from my safe? What would you like from under my mattress? You know, would you like to take my wife out to dinner? Uh, what, you know, just what laws do you really want us to obey or not obey? Our government is overly generous with what it does for illegal aliens in this country, all right? And in many ways, the things that it does for the illegal aliens are harmful to our citizens and our other legal residents. Our government and our country both have limited resources. It is not a bottomless pit. Our citizens and legal residents seeking health care, education, housing, and heating aid all find themselves going to doors that might be closed to them or might have diminished resources available to them. Our citizens and legal residents have to compete with a workforce that is reducing wages and benefits and making almost every workplace they're in less safe. We know here in Rhode Island that illegal aliens are committing crimes. I think it's safe to assume that some of those crimes are being committed against our citizens and legal residents. How do I know that? Well, the federal government runs a program called the State Criminal Alien Assistance Program. From 1997 to 2005, Rhode Island received $13 million in reimbursements from that program for incarcerating unauthorized immigrants. I am here to strongly urge you to oppose 5686. Thank you so much.